Hi, my name is Bridie Bartleet and I'm the ARC Future Fellow on the Creative Change Project. This is a large national study that's looking at the role that community music can play in creating more equitable societies. We're working on four in-depth case studies with arts organisations and social sector providers to try and understand how the individual, communal and social benefits of music making can help bring about much more socially just and equitable communities here in Australia. I'm Flora Wong, a PhD candidate as part of the Creative Change Project. My case study examines the role of community music in the towns of Cunnamulla and Charleville in regional Australia and investigates how music tourism events like QMF's Queensland Music Trails interact with more locally developed activities. By taking an active participant approach to my research and embedding myself as a musician in residence in each town, I've been able to form a deeper understanding of each place and its community. Emerging themes from the data I've gathered include musicking as a form of placemaking that can allow individuals to feel a sense of belonging and purpose within their community, Events and activities involving music as unique sites for the fostering of interpersonal understanding and social connection, both within a community and between locals and visitors. And lastly, community musicking as a practice that can foster the openness and creativity that is necessary to identify and address issues of social inequity. Hi, I'm Joel Spence, part of the Creative Change Project team as a PhD candidate. And my case study is following the work of social justice organisation Big Heart, which has been actively collaborating and songwriting with the Irumugadu community, led by Nullama and Yinjibandi elders in Western Australia for the past 12 years. From this work, an awareness raising advocacy concert developed called Songs for Freedom, and over the past two years, toured nationally to highlight the disproportionate rates of Aboriginal youth impacted by the juvenile justice system and generate conversation around the age at which individuals can be incarcerated in Australia. The Songs for Freedom concert, community written songs and overall campaign has addressed major themes from individual and community connection to country, culture, injustices and spiritual connection demonstrated through the songs, all along with the concert's impact itself of creating awareness and a shift in social attitudes whilst challenging power structures and Australian laws that contribute to ongoing oppression for First Peoples of Australia. Hi there, I'm Pearly Black. I'm a singer, a singing teacher and performance creative and now a researcher with the Creative Change Project. I've always been obsessed with all things voice and the myriad wondrous capacities for singing to enhance human life. Within the Creative Change Project I've been working very closely with Play It Forward, the organisation founded by Dr Jonathan Welsh that is an umbrella support organisation for a vast array of community choirs and singing projects. I've been working in particular in Werribee and in the Latrobe Valley, looking at specific projects there and the way that they interact with their communities and places. Through exploring emerging themes of belonging and connection to community, celebration of diversity and inclusion, and the creative expression of the voice of a community, I'm more and more intrigued by the ways in which singing and singing together can create a well society and a more equitable society. I'm Emma and I'm leading the West End Case Study, which is partnering with the social sector organisation to investigate the ecology of community music practice happening in this urban context. Community music in this community supports people traditionally marginalised by society to feel empowered and to be able to be themselves outside of the musical context. And this may have ripple effects for the community and for broader society in relation to addressing discrimination and oppression. Community music initiatives in West End are valued by participants and facilitators as moments to engage with each other in ways that challenge current power structures and political orders. And finally, music in West End creates rare opportunities for people of different social statuses and walks of life to be together and to bond. And in an area like this one, experiencing rapid gentrification and growing inequality, this is really important for community cohesion and for robust dialogue about what we value and who we want to be. Hi, I'm Matt Shu. We're now working on a collective analysis across all our case studies, working in depth with our partners to create a range of outputs that will be useful for community and policy. We're also working on a national map of community music initiatives 
With this evidence base, we hope to inform a creative turn in the development of policies and approaches aimed at addressing social inequities across Australian communities. Thank you.